Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Raggable. Couch Guy. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show. Well, it can be considered PSP hacking. Yes. So episode. This is a PSP hacking 101 episode 31. Woo! How to uh, install Chick Hen and the custom firmware enabler. enabler on a PSP 3000, bright and slim. All right. I think you should have a competition to see how long you can make a title of your episodes. I know every every episode every episode I'm gonna add another couple words. Another couple. Adjectives. So it's like it's, it's for every for every episode number you get to add one more word. So it's like 32 words, yeah, 33 exactly. words. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Episode two must have watched, sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is PSP hacking, and then episode three was PSP hacking 101. <laughs> Yeah, or, right. or was episode one? Sorry, and I digress. One, 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 yes, we all digress. Ah, okay, so this thing, <laughs> this horrible, horrible thing. <laughs> um, apparently, the slim and light and fragile. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does not withstand the toddler. Apparently, a little, little damage. Future right episode, I guess, is some screen up here. It's actually three D <laughs> if you feel it. Ooh, that's some damage. Okay, so how do we, uh, how do we do evil things with this? Uh, evil, evil. Um, very evil. <clears throat> very, very evil. We, uh... <laughs> okay, let's get started. Let's, let's get into let's it. Get let's in. go. Yeah, let's do evil things. The, the let's be evil. The evil. Bring okay, evil. first, first you got to make sure you're running 5.03 official firmware. Uh, at this point, if you upgrade it beyond that, you're screwed. <laughs> Thanks, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you, next episode. <laughs> um, copy over... you got to download and copy over... The Gen C custom firmware enabler, and then the Hen program, which we showed you in previous episodes. Just copy that over to your PSP. And then there's also an H file that you copy over to the root of your memory stick. And there's further instructions on our twosmartguys.com website. After you get those on your PSP memory stick, just browse over to your photo folder. And it'll show the directory for Chick Hen. Go ahead and go into that directory. Wait about three seconds, three or four seconds, and then go into the chick hen directory. This is, gives better results for chick hen actually working. And it should overflow the memory and reset your PSP with a big green screen. If it just shuts off, turn it back on again and keep trying until it does give you a green screen. Now you can run the custom firmware installer. Now this is going to flash your PSP so that it can run ISOs, UMD backups, uh, PS1 games, things like that. Uh, until this is installed, you can only run emulators and non-kernel mode things. Just user mode stuff. Yeah, user mode. So after the flash has been written to, uh, hit X. It'll reboot your PSP, and then that's it. Uh, you can load up your memory stick with all the PS1 games, like in the previous episode and run them on the PSP 3000. So, it's pretty cool. Here's, a, here's an example of a good old one you might remember from back in the day. <laughs> if you're crazy. Um, yeah, so uh, apparently chicken is fairly delicate on... It's fairly delicate. On, on accepting... I don't know. Uh, doing, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't work every time. Like the first time I tried it. Taking advantage of the X, X because it's using yeah. a, a, a buffer overrun. So, uh, so it has to filter, I mean, just has to be the right. People have recommended resetting all the settings on your PSP. Really? The network settings and everything start from scratch before doing the exploit. And that seems to give better results. And then there's a suggestion you had to wait for a moment yeah. for it to pre generate wait. thumbnails. Yeah, I, I, I've had better success waiting um, like five seconds for the directory to load before going into the directory, and that seems to work pretty good for me. Um, oh, and then I wanted to show you this this new piece of uh, homebrew that just came out a few weeks ago called PSP Installer. Now, instead of having to do this whole deal where you copy all your... Drag and drop, load, unload. Yeah, onto your memory stick for homebrew, you can just install just this one application and then go through your Wi-Fi and download things through repositories. So you can get your games, applications, they got themes on there, all so kinds of cool they've stuff. They've taken a cue from like the iPhone or... Yeah, yeah, so it's, so it's like, it's like the iPhone <laughs> or... Um, what else is like that? <laughs> what else uses a repository? Uh, Android? Uh, I suppose so. But 
that's a really good way to get some more software into your PSV. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and uh, of course, we'll have episode thirty-two out. <laughs> mm. So, Maybe. how did how did the exploit for the bright differ from the fat at all? Um, the exploit from the fat, we actually installed the custom firmware. Okay. So it was <coughs> flashed permanently, so we so, never had to run chicken. Right. So with again. the bright one, the chicken has to be running in order for the custom firmware to be loaded. Right. So as soon as you do a cold power off, you have yeah. to reload chicken. So if the PSP is in standby, where you just hit the power button, and it's, it's you know keeping you know RAM persistent. Right. Then it's it's always in memory. Yeah. But if you run the battery dead. Then you have to run chicken again. Okay. But you don't have to run the custom firmware uh, installer because yeah, it's already been flashed. It just has yeah. to be, you know, the, the, what loads up has to be patched to run it, essentially, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as far as six point two, people have um, supposedly cracked it. So now we're just waiting for an exploit, mm. an egg exploit, <coughs> to be made. An exploit. It just amazes me that the TIFF exploit is still there. And you know what they patched in um, the iPhone update What's yesterday? That? TIFF exploit. So it's just an exploit. <laughs> is it is it a vulnerability in just the TIFF format itself? Yeah. Remember, you can embed things within the TIFF format. Oh. So you can put uh, you can put code into it. Oh. So it's just pagan. Well, for it, it just amazes me that you know Sony hasn't taken it out or yeah, they, patched it. Do you think they would just disable TIFF support? I mean, it, they'd be it's like, like screw all right, it. screw it. It's an it's an it's not a very widely used format. I mean, it's often? pretty memory intensive anyway. Yeah, it's a really yeah. thick it's, file. That's not something. That's that, why you can embed into it because it does have so much, so many layers to a TIFF file. Okay. Yeah. It's just not yeah. a very common format that people work with. When was the last time you worked with a TIFF? Besides, you know, with the PSP. The background behind it. Well, <laughs> I would say, would say besides graphic design stuff, I do. I don't. Yeah. Um, I do, we do have a question on our, um, on the, on the chat, on the chat feed. Uh, okay. Do we need a Pandora's battery? Uh, no, you don't need a Pandora's battery. Um, well, unless you're above 5.03. So you can still use the Pandora battery above 5.03? You can on the fat and on the slim, but not the slim and light. Not the, not the bright. Not the bright? Not the bright. Okay. So the 1000s, 2000s, yes. 3000s, no. Although, um, Although. They're, 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 they, tell, they tell they make the Pro Action Replay thing. They oh. supposedly are making one. They're making one? Yes. They're making they, a Pandora battery. Yeah, they were showing it online. So there's hope there. Yeah, until they get slapped with the lawsuit by well, Sony. Well, apparently they already did. <laughs> but they still made one anyway, somehow. Somehow. They just call it something else. And the rumor is is that uh, Dark Alex is... Working with them on that? Supposedly, because he's not doing it anymore. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> no, the, and somebody else had picked up his work where he had left off because he left a while back. And they think that he maybe he just changed his name and, uh, and, and that whole thing. It just amazes me that a real company would be making something like that. Usually you see these, you know, hacker startup companies putting out matches and things like that, but... We'll see. Hmm. Yeah. So it's, there's hope for the future for... There, there's hope for, more, the, for the PSP 3000s and Go's. The Go's. The Go. <laughs> well, that, okay, so once the Go is hacked, I'm down with that. Because yeah. I don't know, I mean, well, except for the fact that they're expensive. <laughs> yeah, but so, yeah, exactly. How much does it go? $300. $250. $299, unless you can, they, have they come down 50 no, bucks? No, they're 250 They're 250 but you can get one of these without any games for 150 So they're $100 yeah. more. And you lose the UMD. And you now have to download everything you want to do with them. Yeah. Mm. And they don't Potentially from PlayStation Network. Yeah. With the DRM attached to it. Oh, and that's one other thing. <laughs> there's there's another piece of homebrew that you might want to install that enables you to get back on the PSN network. Oh. Because they require you to be on 6.2. Okay. So you install this. So it's kind of just like faking. Yeah. There's a little little um, piece of homebrew you run and it'll fake fake it so you can get on there. It's like the metadata tag that's like, uh, oh yeah, I'm really doing it. No, uh -huh. I'm really right. Firefox. So if you want to <clears> an explorer, yeah. so if you want a little big planet, then you got to put that on there. Okay. But oh, well, that runs? might just kill yeah. it for me because I'm starting to really like Little Big Planet. Well, uh, yeah, but you could do it. Hey, did you see, <laughs> have you um, seen that um, the calculator that they built in Little Big Planet? Uh uh. They built a working physical calculator in Little Big Planet. They have physical calculators. Yeah. And they replicated that one, or one of them, inside Little Big Planet. And so you'd step on the switch, it'd move all the gears. He'd step on another button to get the, ne the next number, mm -hmm. move all the gears, then he pushed you know, the addition button, 
and all the gears would move again, and then get the result. <laughs> it was wow. massive. Like the guy would scroll up. I was just really happy because I got the highest score you can get on a little <laughs> big planet. Okay. One Back million to the show. We gotta end the show. <laughs> okay, we're. <laughs> well, no, we don't have to end the show. We can keep talking for hours. No one we cares. We can end the recorded show. Oh, all right, fine. You just we'll, like to end. We can it continue anyway. on with the live show. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, anyways, thank you for viewing the show. Um, this is a user create user created show, so we like and your, user supported and user supported. So <laughs> we like your feedback. Email me pox at twosmartguys.com, raggable at twosmartguys.com. No. Take that. <laughs> and couch guy post YouTube two comments. Guys .com. <laughs> a couch guy has one at twosmartguys.com. He will, he will now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I want to see. I'm going to get all the bad stuff on that one. Our, our website's been updated um, thanks to Cognizant Design. The more specifically, the scary clown. The scary clown at Twitter. <laughs> or Twitter at. Is it the scary, scary clown, clown or uh, the scary clown? The scary clown? I think it's uh, the scary clown. The lower third. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and now we've got it set up so that you can comment on the videos and it'll be posted directly to the yes. forums. The, uh, the content management system has been tied into our forums. Yeah, so. Finally. The forums, place for help. Um, there's more than us at the forums, so they can get a more rapid response on your questions. <laughs> or a full <laughs> sentence. Yes. Uh, two smart guys slash forum. Um, also, we have DVDs of all these wonderful shows with outtakes, bloopers, audio commentary. Show notes. Just, uh, just 10 bucks. Uh, we'll send one out to you. Yeah. And, uh, of course, uh, the show is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Like, uh, yeah. give, you, give you a good discount if you use our code to smart guys. For an order of how much, though? Uh, $50 or more. $50 so or more. Give you 10% yeah, so off your order. Yes. I, I just <laughs> want to clarify, if you donate $10, yes, they'll give yes. you a free DVD. Yes. yes. They're not going to sell you a DVD. No. They can't. There's a they huge won't. difference. Yeah. <laughs> it's a donation-only service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, we are um, Creative Commons, so feel free to distribute these videos all you want. Uh, you can make copies of your DVDs if you get them from us. And you just have to credit us. Yes. That's the first time you've mentioned that. I think. Well, I think I said it when we first did the DVDs, but way back then, that was like four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. So um, we see you next time. Next week, uh, we do live shows every Wednesday night at nine thirty specific Pacific Ish. time. <laughs> specific Pacific time. Specifically specific. Just specific. Stick mountain Standard Time. Nobody knows what that is. Nobody <laughs> lives in that time zone. Just, it's, it's, 12 <laughs> 30 it's twelve thirty Eastern. It's twelve thirty Eastern. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. Twelve thirty Eastern time. If you can't figure that out, then yeah, but then that's technically on Thursday morning. <laughs> See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. Two friends must rise up and face their destiny. Holy <laughs> Trapped in an evil video game cartridge, the duo must seek out allies. What can I get for you fellows? You better eat up or you're gonna get squished too. Find a way to get beyond the clipping plane.